Hi you guys, I'm going to do a quick video comparing uh, iOS and Siri and Google Android and Google Now. Uh, both of these uh, devices uh, I actually own and use on a day to day basis and uh, I'm nowhere biased uh, between either operating system or either uh, system for voice recognition. Uh, this is purely uh, to test which comes up with better results and which seems to work better and for you to make an opinion and uh, give feedback in the comments below. So we'll quickly get into it and we'll do a few different tests to see how each one uh, recognises certain things. So we'll start off. How far is it from my location to Madrid? The drive from your location to oh, Madrid is 375.9 kilometres. Now the problem we've got on that one is that the iPad has got no GPS in, they're both 16 uh, gig Wi-Fi models, both connected to the same network and as I've just said there's no uh, GPS in the iPad so it relies on uh, data location from the ISP, your service provider uh, or any connection that you're going through and although all the settings on the iPad are set up to do that it uh, won't lock onto my location in uh, the current location I'm in. Also, the uh, Note 8 has a GPS built in, so it's getting a lot pretty quick on that. So we'll go on to another one quickly. Who is Barack Obama? Here's some information. According to Wikipedia, Barack Hussein Obama II is the 44th and current president of the United States, the first African-American to hold the office. And as you can see from that test, uh, Siri was quicker to bring up the information, uh, but Google now gave much more uh, uh, voice orientated information and they've got the links just the same. You can see as you scroll down the page on either device, you can get extra links. Uh, we'll try another person to see how quick it works here again. Who is Ray LaMontagne? According hmm. to Wikipedia, Raymond Charles Jack okay, LaMontagne is an right. American singer songwriter. And you can see by doing this one now, persons who obviously are well known but not in the database on iOS as much as on uh, Google Android uh, just don't turn up on iOS at all. You can see the details have come up, uh, Ray LaMontagne on the other one. Obviously Barack Obama, uh, one of the most influential guys in the world, he's going to come up straight away. Uh, Ray LaMontagne, uh, not so much on iOS. Uh, we can do another test on uh, certain information there. How old is Ray LaMontagne? Ryan Reynolds is 37. He is 40 years old. See, so, you now Siri didn't really need to tell you about Ray LaMontagne again because we'd already had that search previously, so it just tells us how old he is. And straight away on the uh, iPad Air, the new iPad Air, which is a uh, quite fast processor, it's come up with a totally different uh, search query. Ryan Reynolds is 37, which wasn't the question at all. Uh, we'll try another one. Translate into Spanish. How far is it to the nearest train station? Hasta que punto es a la estación de trenes más cercana? So you can see that uh, again Google now absolutely blitzed the uh, competition with Siri on that one. Uh, obviously on iOS there's no translation built in. Google Translate is linked to uh, Google now. Uh, we'll try some ones that uh, iOS should come up on quickly. We'll do the same thing again, S something that's really well known. So we'll go with uh, Show Me Pictures of Mickey Mouse. Here's what I found on the mouse. Here you go. Pretty much even on that, but as you was, I would expect from what I've just said, iOS will pick that up. It's a well known uh, uh, picture. And we can. Uh, Show me pictures on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I didn't find any notes pictures from yesterday, Samsung matching Galaxy pictures Note only get something Galaxy. Here you go. And there you go. Something that's less recognised on uh, an iOS device uh, is not going to show at all because it's not part of its database. Obviously, as well with it being Samsung, they're not going to shove it in their database. But uh, if we did it the other way around, uh, show me pictures of the 2014 MacBook Air. Okay, I found this on the web. Showing pictures matching your request. And as you can see straight away, Apple, it's Apple's device, knows what you're asking for. The pictures are straight away there and they are on uh, Google now. Slightly faster on iOS there. 
But as you can see, iOS pretty limited to what it can do. Uh, we can do things on uh, Google Now, which you should be able to do on your iOS device phone as well. Uh, obviously, bearing in mind these are both Wi-Fi, uh, and uh, obviously on your phone you're going to have a GPS built in. But as I said at the beginning of the test, this is co to compare two devices, similar spec. Obviously, I could use the uh, 2014 Samsung Note uh, to compare screen size, but that's immaterial. The processes inside are pretty similar. Uh, so we'll go navigate from my location to Madrid. Navigating to Madrid. I don't know where you are. And again, you've got the location uh, bug that's in the uh, Wi-Fi models on uh, iOS devices. Obviously, as I said, not on the phone. And all I need to do now basically is click on Maps. Really, I could set it as default and it would just open. But if we go just once on there... Even though we're indoors, it'll pick up a, a GPS location and uh, set off and go. So all in all, uh, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. Uh, give me your comments below. And uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Like I said, I'm not biased on any device. I just use uh, devices for what I want to use them for. What I will say is that e whether it's a tablet or a, a phone, uh, you've got the Note 3 uh, phone here, either device... In my personal opinion, and this is my opinion, I'm not necessarily putting my opinion over onto you, I'm just showing you this uh, so you can make an, an informed opinion on your own. My opinion is, at this particular moment in time, Android, especially Google Android, uh, whether it's on a Samsung device or a pure Google Android device, is far better as a connected device in as much as Google now brings it a whole uh, step forward uh, in its evolution as a connected device. And also what I would say as well is that uh, notifications on uh, iOS uh, 7 with the new notification bar and the pull-up bar from the bottom, they are good. There's no problem with them. But as a connected device, many, many, many times I can, I can send a WhatsApp, I can message someone who's got an iPhone, and that iPhone may be in the pocket, maybe in a bag. It'll appear on the notification bar on the top and it'll disappear. And unless that person pulls the phone out and constantly checks the pull-down menu from the top to see notifications, they're not going to see it. Android devices, in my opinion, as soon as you turn an Android device on, whether you're on the lock screen or wherever you are, them notifications are straight away staring you in the face. So you, you, you'll never miss a notification on Android where you can quite easily do so on uh, iOS. Having said that, I'm not trying to be biased in any way. My preference for a mobile phone is uh, Android and has been... Uh, for many, many years, I've never used uh, an iOS uh, iPhone device. I've, I've played with one, but I, I just uh, think the two were restricted. I prefer uh, web browsing on uh, the new iPad Air. I think that's a really good device for browsing the web. Uh, but all in all, as a connected device, especially if I'm traveling, uh, the Note uh, 8 uh, with an OTG cable, you can watch movies, you can download movies, you can carry as much stuff as you want. You're not restricted by the space that's on the device. You've got an external SD card and you can plug any peripheral. You can put a USB stick, you can put a, a hard drive, whatever you want to do in there. So for my mind, it's a much better device overall. Having said that, iOS 7, a lot of people have slagged it off. I quite like it. It's quite polished, quite grown up once you get used to it. And as a couch browsing device, uh, it's really, really good. One gripe I've got with iOS is that my music on uh, iTunes that I can freely uh, obtain on any, iOS, any Android device, I should say, sorry, uh, without paying any money through uh, Google Play Music and linking that to uh, a program on the uh, computer is absolutely free. It streams no problem. On the iOS device, you've got to pay twenty odd dollars or twenty odd pound or twenty odd euros a year to use that service, which is uh, totally ridiculous. Apple should uh, link all their devices free. You shouldn't have to pay to stream uh, music on your own uh, Apple PC to uh, an iOS device. Anyway, that's my uh, thoughts and a bit of a rant at the end there. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and ask me any questions. And I'll get back to you in the near future with a few more videos. Thanks for watching.